like um, a racetrack, the Indy 500. <laughs> And let me point out on the left of your steering wheel, you have three stalks. On the top is your cruise control. The middle one's your blinker, so go ahead and get used to hitting that because most people reach for that cruise control. And the bottom one is a joystick. It's an electric power steering and steering wheel stalk control. So you want to move your wheel up, down, left, right. That's a back mirror? What is that? What is this? Uh, this is a rear view camera, so you have an HD lens to show you what's behind the car. You can drive with it on if you like that visibility. If it makes your car sick, then don't leave it on. <laughs> and we'll take a sharp right turn out of here. Is that camera, does that, that doesn't cover the, the blind spots on the side of the car. Though, right? It does not, no. And this is actually a good chance to feel the oh, motor of the car. It, it'll give it when you ask yeah, for thank it. thank you. Just let me know. <laughs> if you try it again here, you still have the same thing. You don't want to slow down. You always have that. You have a straight line torque curve. So until you didn't hit, I'm sorry, you didn't hit the brake here, right? You just let go of the pedal? Yeah. And at higher speeds, you really do need to use the brakes to slow down um, significantly. But if you just want to do a gentle slow down, then the regenerative braking absolutely takes care of it. We'll take a left. And then a right at that stop sign. We're going to have a large on-ramp curve up here. That's going to be a great way to feel what a 16-inch center of gravity does for you. And so Ben uh, and his car, a um, little bit higher center of gravity, um, still a good one, but this is truly as low as it goes. We are lower than Ferrari. Um, you're going to feel how glued it is to the road during balance. You don't have the body roll that you would in a normal vehicle. Alex, we'll read out your speed. Is that 42 I'm reading? At our Washington, D.C. drive event, we had a 270-degree on-ramp turn um, that I was uncomfortable doing in a rental car at 40. We did it at 65 and one less. We did at least one lane over. This is not the performance version. This is the performance this version. Is the, how much yeah. different with the regular version? Um, the way he's driving it, different. Um, this is actually, so we get over 100 pound-feet of torque and a bit over 50 more horsepower and we'll stay to the left, 7 feet south. Performance car, you really do feel it in Model S um, because of how much heavier the car is. Now, the 85 kilowatt hour uh, package battery car is still a very fast car. You have a lot of power, but this takes it to another level, especially in the torque. So right now, 64, 65, if you get one lane over and hit that pedal, that kick it gives you is that extra power. Wherever you want to go is fine. Performance really does get up and go a lot more than yeah. you I'm not interested in having your insurance go up on that. <laughs> <laughs> Someone's got to give you a good test drive and let you know how it feels. It's limited to 80. It is, yeah. It'll kick back on your 80. Your counterparts in California, unfortunately, uh, abused their privileges a little bit, over 100 miles per hour, and we had to make sure everyone was staying safe. So you lock the car down for us? We do. We have, we have a password lock on it, and we set the top speed of the car. It's a computer on wheels. We can do those things. Get one lane over, and just under that overpass, we're going to take a sharp right turn. We're going to follow Can I do that someday when I own the car? We're right here. Um, you know what? I actually have just heard anybody discuss that functionality. I wouldn't be surprised if you... If you you are able to do that so that if you wanted to perhaps Sorry. hand the keys to a valet <laughs> or a son who you're not you sure know, about. You know, like somebody who might be driving the car now. For the, well, and the Roadster has this. Some people, we call it the valet mode. It's also the Ferris Bueller's Day Off mode. <laughs> uh, it, it limits the car to top speed and acceleration so that if you hand the keys over and you don't want somebody abusing it, you can do so. We'll take a left here. That's the great thing about having a car that has a computer on wheels. It's um, mostly software and firmware, so the car will actually improve with age. The car you get um, is actually the worst version it's of the like car women. that you'll own every week, month, and year you own it. We'll be sending improvements out to it, like functionality in the touchscreen. This is a fully computer. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's very comfy in the back. Stay generally toward the right here. We are getting up the sharp ones. Now I have seen some highway patrol sitting just past the set of trees this weekend, so I would recommend staying around 55, at least before Sherry's not there. Can we hear the radio? Absolutely.
sister company's website, SpaceX. <laughs> I'll take a right hand turn here. <laughs> you can see we have an NVIDIA Tegra processor on it, so very responsive. It works a lot like a uh, We did that by design. People are already... Is that legal cool. to do? It actually is. There's no limited functionality. Um, and you'd have to ask you know, the folks who set those regulations why they decided to do it. My personal opinion is that anybody who take a left, uh, tech savvy enough to own our car, if we limit and we restrict the screen, they're going to have a smartphone on our left or a tablet that they can pull out and use instead. And so what we've done is we've integrated it not only into the car, a little bit nicer than a handheld device, but also given uh, integrated functionality. So with voice controls, channel and volume controls, uh, in a world of distractions, we at least limit that distraction. If you're going to do those things, then you'll be able to take a ride. I'm not sure I understand what you said. Limit the distraction of looking at it. In As your opposed hand. to holding up your iPad and searching oh, your emails okay. while you're driving. So you're anybody right. can do whatever they like in their car. And it's completely up to you. It's up to the responsibility of the driver. Sure. You can turn the screen down or off. Um, there will be some limitation, likely for things like you know streaming videos. You probably can't have right, those at high speed, but. Um, if you have a passenger here, we want to make sure they have connectivity in the car. So it would be um, it would be unfortunate if it did receive restrictions because it would then take away one of the best features of the vehicle. Well, what do you guys think? Nice. Absolutely.